Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 198. That is, what are cookies? Let me answer. Cookies are small text files. Case, okay. What are cookies? Cookies are small text files having some piece of information. And these text files are placed in our browsers by the web servers of the applications that we visit online. For example, if you have visited a website, say amazon.com in one of your browsers, say Chrome browser, then the web server of this amazon.com will place a small text file in your browser, that is Chrome browser, okay? And these small text files are known as cookies. Let me practically show you like how amazon.com website will place cookies in your browser. They are nothing but the small text files, okay? So let me practically show you that. Uh, first of all, I'll go to this Chrome browser settings, okay? Before browsing any application and all, I'll go to site settings. And uh, here I'll go to uh, privacy and security. Then I'll go to the site settings. Then from here, I'll go to cookies and site data. Okay, under the content, we have the cookies and site data. Click on that. Now here, see all cookies and site data option, I'll select. Here, I'll type Amazon to see if any Amazon related cookies are there or not. Okay, I'll just type Amazon here. You see, no cookies related to Amazon are there. Okay, no cookies related to Amazon are there. Now, what I will do here is I will browse for Amazon. Okay, Amazon.in, I'll browse for. So once uh, I browse for this Amazon.in, now again I click on this uh, settings of the Chrome browser and then click on the privacy and security, then site settings, same steps, cookies and site data. And now see all cookies and site data. If you search for Amazon this time, Amazon, you see some cookies are there. Earlier, this Amazon related cookies were not there, right? This cookie has been placed in our browser by Amazon web server of the Amazon.com, Amazon.in, Amazon.in. Because I browsed Amazon, not Amazon.com, I browsed Amazon.in. If I browse Amazon.com, let me browse Amazon, Amazon.com and see what cookies are being placed. Okay, so, so here I'll click on the three dots. I'll go to settings again, privacy and security, site settings, cookies and site data, see all cookies and site data. And here I'll search for Amazon. You see a lot of cookies are there, right? Amazon.com is created by Amazon.com. This cookie is also by Amazon.com. This cookie is also by Amazon.com. This one is also by Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Okay, these are the cookies uh, created by Amazon.com website, web server of the Amazon.com website. Fine. So what are these cookies? These cookies are nothing but the small text files. Why these cookies got created here? That may be the next question, right? Why these cookies got created here in your browser? Why they got dropped in your browser? For what purpose they got dropped in our browser? So let's understand the purpose case, okay? With the help of cookies, a lot of things can be achieved by the web servers of the applications, okay? The company people behind these applications will do a lot of things with the help of these cookies. Cookies track user browser activity. So after you open this amazon.com and if you, search for a product or you navigate to different pages, right? All your activity is being tracked. Okay, Amazon is, Amazon company is tracking your activities, guys. Okay, so all your activities are being tracked by amazon.com. With the help of what? Cookies, with the help of cookies that are placed in your browsers, your activity in the application on the application is being tracked. Okay, example, for the product uh, searches made on amazon.com, we see, you say for, for the, when, when you first visit the website, guys, you search for some products. After that, you will close the website. And tomorrow or day after tomorrow, again, if you open the same website, the home page will change. You, you will suddenly see all the products that you are searching and uh, relevant products related to searching. Okay, home page will be customized according to your search history. Okay, such things are possible with the help of cookies. Because of the cookies tracking your activity, okay, the information has been passed to the web servers of the application. And then, Next day, based on the code written by in, in these applications, right? They are displaying the relevant products for you on the home page. Okay. Then next one is next purpose of the cookies is to remember the login details. Uh, remember, guys, when you have last time logged into Gmail.com, only once it is required, right? Every time you don't have to log into Gmail, automatically it will launch. So 
even though we close the browser without logging out we don't have to log in again and again into gmail or facebook right so in in a browser if you log into gmail or facebook you don't have to do that again and again that login is not required it's not ask for login always right only one time is required how it is possible this login information or authentication is being done with the help of the cookies cookies are taking care of this okay cookies are maintaining the session behind the screens and hence you are not required to log in every time to gmail and facebook now another purpose of this uh, cookies are cookies with the help of cookies the web servers of the applications or the company people behind the application uh, that you are using in your browsers right those people will be collecting your analytical information like uh, how many visitors have visited their website on a particular day like that if i have to count okay even though we visit the same website multiple times in the same day it will be counted as one only because with the help of cookies cookies remember the information okay this user has already logged in today has already used the application today again is coming in the evening so this user should be counted as only one user per day okay rather than two or three users okay if i if i use the application different times uh, three to four times and it should not consider me as three users consider me only as a one user that is possible with the help of cookies cookies with the help of cookies uh, uh your location details will be tracked from which location you are accessing the application will be tracked so your language preference okay whether you are accessing the application in english or telugu or okay whatever the preferred language hindi or whatever the language you are using for uh, using uh, you are preferring for using the application the the application company will know okay then gender okay whether you are male or female also will be figured out so this is what is all about uh, cookies collect analytical information like all this stuff okay behind the scenes and cookies will remember the things guys okay cookies also remember the things let's say today you had you have added one item to the cart tomorrow you open the same application the item will still be there in the cart only okay until not not only tomorrow after 10 days or after one month also you will see the same item in the cart if you don't delete it right so how this website is remembering that item in the cart with the help of cookies only guys okay so lot of purposes are there for the cookies guys okay cookies track the user activity cookies remember your login details and you don't have to log in and again 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 then cookies collect analytical information and all the information that is required to be collected from the user will be collected with the help of cookies and cookies will remember the things like few things you see because of this automation right uh, user friendliness of the application will increase right every time you don't have to add the item to the cart for purchasing it okay one time you add it to the cart next time it is easy for you just directly go to the cart and purchase it if required that's what is the purpose of the cookies guys and coming to the types of the cookies there are two types of cookies one is session cookies and other one is a persistent cookies okay what are session cookies and what is uh, what are persistent cookies i'll explain session cookies maintain the sessions okay so because of this uh, when the session cookies are there in your application means your session will be live that means uh, uh, your login 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 session will be live guys okay that's what is a session cookie so the moment you log out uh, the session cookies will be deleted you see when you when you log in and do search still you will be logged in right when you add an item to the cart still you will be logged in how this is happening because of the session cookies okay session cookies in the behind the scenes are maintaining your session for each and every activity the session is continuing right for searching the product for adding the item to the cart for doing some checkout or something the session is still on this session is still logged in that's because of the session cookies okay session cookies are keeping your login session alive the moment you manually click log out then only the session cookies will die okay will be deleted or die so that is what is session cookies are then coming to the persistent cookies the other type of the cookies we have are the persistent cookies guys what are this persistent cookies uh, persistent cookies will be deleted on expiry okay so they have some time range guys okay so let's say this particular cookie uh, will be tracking your website for next one year like that some time will be there after one year when the time approaches the cookie will die cookie will be automatically deleted you don't have to log out to delete okay this persistent cookies will not delete when you log out the cookies will be deleted only when they have to get deleted okay based on the time if, if they have to stay for three months they will be staying in your browser for three months for that particular application okay and uh, you see uh, this persistent cookies are useful in case of login once you log into gmail it's not asking you to log in every time right okay it's not asking you to log in every time because there is a persistent key behind the scenes which is uh, taking care of the things okay so until and unless this persistent cookie gets expired then only the gmail will ask you login okay that will be year or two years or three years we don't know okay 
so it can be used for tracking purposes okay using with the help of uh, persistent cookies we can track all the information like visitors location details all this tracking can be done with the help of persistent cookies so this is all about cookies guys hope you got an idea like uh, what exactly are the cookies okay so this is what are the cookies guys so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye